Autodesk has got a vision to help our customers imagine, design, and create a better world. Customers work in a very creative environment. In creating the new office, we wanted to create that same atmosphere for our own teams, which we feel is essential. When we started to think about the design, we were very conscious of the needs of the different groups, some who were very kind of mobile, who would come in occasionally, to others that we would class as concentrators who really needed to have an area where they could come to every day, get their heads down and, and work. And I think, you know, one of the most exciting things about this design from my perspective is I think we've been able to respond to all of those different needs whilst at the same time creating a very open, modern and vibrant work environment. The designer was very good because he got in touch with what we needed. He worked closely with the staff and we had some steering group and workshops. That's how we came up with the different areas we wanted, like telephone booths and breakout rooms. I think the design really fits our needs. The office was designed to enhance collaboration uh, by implementing uh, different zones around the office area uh, to try and create different working environments for different teams. And between those zones, or neighbourhoods as they're called, we've put in lots of informal meeting areas and phone booths and, and collaboration areas, team project areas, so then people can really have the right space that they need for, for what they need to do at work. And then down in the tea point area, there's a community wall where people actually put up their news, which is really important to get that social uh, tie within the business, really improve that team and collaboration throughout. There is no fixed style of how you should use the space. It is very open, very different meeting styles of meeting area, different areas for collaboration. Project tables that are kind of in the middle of the sales floor that people can just take over and use through to semi-enclosed meeting spaces, which have glass sides, so again, people can see what's going on, through to video conferencing and telepresence. But I think one of the things that I like the most is the very informal ones, so we have, we have settees and couches, which really people can just drop themselves down and just have an impromptu conversation and, and meetings. Of course, all over the building are, are walls that you can write on and project on. And we actively encourage that graffiti as long as it's obviously on the right walls. But, but I think it's, you know, it's an important element and it just means that the space is constantly changing. There's different stuff on the walls, there's different things going on. So that ad hoc component of, of meetings, I think, is absolutely essential to what we've been trying to create here. I think people can make their own mind of how they want to immerse themselves in the environment and how they want to interact with each other in the different spaces that have been provided. Here now we've really enhanced the culture, people have fun and games in the office, we're much more approachable. Yeah, it's made a radical difference and made this a great place to work. My favourite part of the new office is definitely the games area. It's just different, it's not claustrophobic, it's stimulating, it's colourful. Anything that you may have thought about what an office should be going back five years, forget that because this is very different.